All right, Merry Christmas from my last Bucky's in Texas this year. And check it out, some of the uh, Christmas apparel this year, the, the newest ugly sweater edition. I like that one a lot. And I always do the pulled pork sandwich when I'm here. I'm gonna try something new. Sean said the, the chopped brisket is also pretty good. So I'm gonna go with that one today. All right, this is the $7 brisket sandwich. It's different than the pulled pork. They are really rolling through these today. That looks freaking delicious though. Throw it on the ground. Mmm, that's good. You wouldn't like it. It's delicious. I assume Tara has already assumed her position underneath the couch. Did you tell her there's brisket? You should tell her there's brisket. Yeah. Um, Dad, I think I like brisket. Dad, I, I, I think I might like that brisket. Yes, I guess I do like that. That's my finger. Oh, man. All right, thank you for cleaning it up. Here you go, Tara. You better eat it before Opie gets down here and steals it. No, oh, that's Tara's. Tara, here. You gotta eat it quick. There you go. Good caddies. You ready to go? Ouch. <laughs> Opie bites. This Bucky's here in Madisonville is super busy. It took a long time to get a pump to pump gas, but as an awesome bonus for Christmas, they had Bucky cloth. Bucky cloth? I don't know if that's a thing. Anyway, I posed and took a picture with uh, Bucky claws with my Bucky's red shirt. So Merry Christmas from Bucky's. Let's get on the road here. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. I have this little cool little keychain knife, and I use this all the time for opening up packages and envelopes. That's a knife. Now that's a knife. <laughs> Look how detailed the, the wooden handle is there, and the I believe that's brass metal plate there. I mean, they did a really good job making it look like a real Bowie knife. Oh, just reading some information here. I guess the, the Bowie knife, the name Bowie, came from uh, Jim Bowie from Kentucky. Okay. Cool, cool. Bowie, Texas. By the way, uh, getting magnets when we first started this trip, everything was closed in Missouri, Oklahoma, and Kansas. I couldn't get a magnet. I was like, oh my gosh. So when I was at Bucky's also, I did finally get my first magnet of this trip. Little Texas license plate that says happy life. So at least we finally got the magnet collection going for this next big trip. Uh, I wanna go to the one more city a little bit farther away. That's where I'm gonna be camping tonight. So I'm gonna head over there, let you know when we get there. I wanna mention also though that uh, this video and possibly the next two after this, they're not gonna be my normal style based on the fa fact that I'm putting on so much miles per day. That's the thing. Like usually it would only be 30 miles total and then we'd go check out a bunch of stuff. But right now my mission is to get west and I'm just stopping a few times. So it's a little different type of video. But I wanna share more with my uh, night routine once we get parked tonight also. Just let you know what it's like living in an RV, me and two kitties. So we'll uh, have fun either way. All right, we're gonna be stopping here in Henrietta, Texas. As you can see, even at Pilot, it's now 319 a gallon. It just, it keeps going up a little more. Your but will be on the right. I found it for 299 a little bit farther west. I'm gonna get tomorrow, but we are gonna pull in here and check out this place. Neat little travel stop though. We got Buffalo out front. How you doing, Buffalo? And we got dinosaurs. Look at, that one's even moving. That one's talking to us. Do you wanna, do you wanna shake hands, buddy? No, he says, no, I don't want to, dude. I want to eat your brains. Yeah, oh, and he's growling at us too. Wow. Pretty cool little park. Pretty neat. Man. <laughs> and Tesla charging. All right, dude. You got any good food in there? I'm going to go check it out and see if there's any magnets, okay? No, you don't have... I'll go check it out anyway. A Texas-sized gas station. We got a steak and shake. And then we've got Texas Best Smokehouse. And right next door, another one, uh, Barbecue Stuckies. Well, I gotta go check this place out. I guarantee you this is nothing like a shell station that you're used to. <laughs> Transformer. 
another dinosaur there. Wow, did I mention we're in a gas station, guys? Oh my gosh, this place is awesome. Get the feeling they're trying to uh, take what Bucky's has and make it more of a just a Texas thing. It's pretty cool. They do have magnets. I'm especially looking at these leaning tree wood magnets because it's something I've never seen before and I don't have. And I kind of like this one. It's called furniture, right? Doesn't say anything about Henrietta, Texas or this place, but I'll remember that, right? Just making sure, yep, that's the one I'm gonna get. But here's their uh, two restaurants. I'm gonna be eating a little bit more healthy tonight since I already had that brisket sandwich for, for lunch. They got jerky. They got, man, I just love all the Christmas decorations too. It's making me feel good. All right, just gonna go 20 miles north to one more town up there. Well, that's cool, a little Texas Longhorn on the wood. This bench is $2,200. Oh my goodness. You could buy an acre of land for cheaper than that in Arizona. I mean, how would I know that? I'm not considering that. But yeah, we gotta go up to Walmart. I gotta park at Walmart. I am way overdue to get a bunch of stuff off my shopping list. So that's my next stop. Those birds are driving my kitties crazy, huh? Are they driving you guys crazy? What are you gonna do about it, Opie? You gonna get them? No, you can't get them because they're in a parking lot. See that tree right there? Birds are going crazy, driving my kitties crazy. So I told you I would talk about some of my nightly routines in the RV, got the slide out right now. Just finished my grocery shopping, got everything put back away. And um, first step, I need to try to keep these two seats clear because the kitties like using them so much, but I got my main cameras outside going so that I can see what's going on around. I already, uh, uh, put the battery back on tater tot and set the alarm so everything's secure on tater tot I'm um, getting really close here maybe 20 minutes or so and I'm gonna close the front blinds um, it, I like it in the daytime but when it gets dark people just stare in here so close those and then I'll look at here if I need to see anything got the TV out watching some shield right now um, I'm getting ready to eat and no, no, literally nothing in my freezer I'm trying to be better about this. I do my little uh, prep meals with chicken and carrots there. So a little bit of effort one time to get it all ready, but then it just goes in the microwave for 90 seconds and we're good to go for dinner. You might notice though, we're not getting solar right now. So anything I run right now, the TV, microwave and anything, it's running solely off the batteries. But usually by the time I get parked after driving, my alternator and solar would have made sure that I got parked at least with 100%. Running that for 90 seconds, it takes off less than 1% of my batteries. So just doing my shopping and everything, we're still at 97.5% here. You're not getting any chicken. This is dad's. We'll do kitty dinner in a minute. What's up, Tara? The birds over there now too? They're all over the place, huh? You better get them. You better get them, man, girl. I'm gonna be taking a shower later, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my water heater and get the tank prepped for that. Now that I have those dual propane tanks outside, when I run this on gas, which this is selected for gas right now, I'll get a check light when it's time to go out and swap those tanks. So I had to keep an eye on this, particularly now, because I have those two smaller tanks. Um, of course, if I run out of both of those, I still have my onboard tank that's full too. Hey, Jax man. Miss you, buddy. Love you, dude. I'm gonna get the computer set up here because although I didn't use uh, this this camera on me, I used this. I wanna take the SD card out of this guy right here so that I can start downloading those files over onto the computer. If I can get it, don't drop it. There we go, need that. You know, five, six hours of driving, I'm liable to have a good 20 minutes to uh, download that onto the computer. So get that going. Oh, and by the way, uh, many people did point out to me that this litter box has an on off button. <laughs> so once I get parked for the evening, I'm done driving, turn that back on. It will automatically start doing a cycle right now to take care of what they did while we were driving. Um, it's still working great and everything. I, I really love this thing. But again, I have to turn it off while I'm driving. Otherwise, it every bump in the road cycles it through. So there's the day's worth of Terra turds and Opie poops. Yep. 
I just love this automatic litter box. It's so convenient. Um, some people that had this did tell me that um, you're not going to get anywhere near a week on that bottom tray for two cats, Eric. And you're right, except there's a really easy mod, which I will show you in just a minute as these turds are getting ready to drop into the basin there. Can you see the base? You can't because it's too dark. Anyway, the where it, where it catches everything in there. You. See, what happens is it builds up right there where it drops. All right, kitty, as you got fresh litter in here, who's got to poop? Okay, again, so that little hole right there where everything dumps, I have to do this every three days. I have to pull this out like this and see how it just all kind of lumps right there. It's kind of gross. And I got to shake it around a little bit level it out, move it to the other directions. That way it's not all full right there where the hole is. And again, I, as long as I do that, I am getting about two weeks out of this without having to empty this. Uh, but of course, and many of you also told me about this when I introduced this Litter Robot 3, Litter Robot is 100% out of their liner bags. Out of stock, they have not been manufactured. Of course, there's other ways around it. There's actually this company I don't know what the company is, but they make versions. Do I know the company? Oh, yes, I do. It's called Eco Leo, and these are on Amazon. They are compatible with the Litter Robot machines. It's almost like they knew that they were never going to make them again. Uh, you could use something else, like a normal garbage bag, or I was also thinking about one of those turkey roasting pans to fit in there, and I could just dump it in the garbage once a week or something like that. But still really, really loving the... Uh, automatic litter box but yeah it is that time i want to close all of my curtains kitties are you done playing with the birdies they're really loud huh is dad gonna need earplugs tonight huh just a few more minutes here watching some simpsons oh yeah and then we'll get to work i like my relaxed time though and now the real fun part sit at my desk and work eric that's not what it's really like living in no it's usually not most people that I RV alongside most people I know that live in an RV. They're either retired or on vacation. So everywhere I go, like there's unlimited time and people don't understand why I go back in my RV as soon as the sun comes down because it takes hours and hours. I mean, today's video isn't that complicated. I'm not doing like picture in picture. I don't have drone shots. You know, there's not a whole lot of complicated stuff with this video, but still it's going to be at least four or five hours until 11 p.m until i get this edited exported and then uploaded to youtube and then i have to wait 24 hours to add the subtitles and all the graphics and everything it's you know it, it's work it literally is work and then tomorrow morning set my alarm for 7 a.m and do it do it all over again another five hours of driving and filming but once i get to the the desert here before christmas it you know things are going to slow way down right now it's just balls to the wall. By the way, if you're interested in how I put a video together from start to finish filming with all my different tools and how I edit in Adobe Premiere, I have a video. It's almost like an hour long video, but um, if you're inter interested to see me put a video together from start to finish, I will link that in a top card up here. If you're watching on your computer, you can click on that. Um, if you're watching on your phone, you may have to go to a computer or come off your smart TV, go to a computer to be able to see that graphic. Um, Otherwise, I'm going to call it quits here, guys, because i got some work to do. But remember, we got T-shirts, we've got coffee cups, sweaters, hoodies, long sleeve, all sorts of merchandise with the new uh, Don't Be a Tater, Hater, Nomadic, Fanatic gear. Uh, you can order those in the link video. You can... Oh, I'm tired. There's a link in the video description below this video. You can click it and make magic happen. Otherwise, Tara, Opie, and I will see you in the very next video as we get into New Mexico. Bye, guys.